Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Morgan Price and today we are back in Stationeers. So, this episode is going to be about simple ways to find your base when you go out exploring. So, the area is big. The area is pretty featureless. And there's there's just it's easy to get lost so we're gonna go to the things to think about things to think about flags are cheap flags cost one iron you get a two and a half meter tall pole with a little flag on it and they are paintable so you can paint them whatever color is going to catch your eye most um, so let's demonstrate the painting. So we're going to grab this out, place it down like so, grab this, spray paint it, ta-da, we now have green flags. Um, consider a lighthouse. So I've built this tall monstrosity. This guy, I will shine light for a very long distance. You you'd be surprised at how far away you can see those lights up there. Um, if you have the tools, make piles of dirt. So say you're out and you've run out of flags and you don't have a beacon set up, but you still need to go a little ways and hunt for stuff. You can take a terrain manipulator and make piles of dirt that you can use in place of flags. It's not my preferred method, but it is a method. Following that, beacons are useful. So there are two types of beacons in the game. There is this tracking beacon. You get one with your lander, and then there is the beacon. The beacon is basically a station-built locator. It will always tell you where your base is as long as it has power. All right. With that, you can't ask for directions. Uh, of course, I'm going to fall in the hole. Um, hop up here, go ba -doop. There we go. So, as you can see, there is nothing but my tutorial base here. Nada. Zip. Zipola. Goose eggs. So... With that being said, there's nobody to ask for directions. If you get lost, well, let's just put it this way. You might get lucky, but probably not. So, it behooves you to set up ways to find your base, be it beacons, which we are actually going to go through how to use those. So, you need a handheld tablet and a tracker. Those are the minimum to use beacons. So we're going to open up our handheld tablet because we don't have to find a battery for it. Going to open up the cartridge slot, pop in the tracker cartridge, and turn it on. So because the beacons aren't on, they're not showing anything. Oh, and let's grab those just to be on the safe side. So since these guys are not on, they are not showing anything. But turn it on. It gives you a direction and an approximate distance. Same with the little guy. In order to select what beacon you are looking for, because you can set up multiples, um, and you can rename them to show... Uh, basically, whatever name you want to show. Um, you use the scroll wheel to change between the beacons you are tracking. So that's how that operates. And we're going to take a little walk. It's, a, it's really bright, so you can see them really well. But, okay, so I did a little bit of a walk earlier, and I place flags every so often. They're relatively easy to see. They would be easier to see in brighter colors, 
and contrasting colors. So like, take for instance Mars. If you were on Mars, paint these little flags green and they will show up just like these red ones do on gray. So we're going to grab these flags and we're going to keep walking. Um, not down there. Try there. There we go. That works. And we're going to walk until, there we go, we run out of flags. Now, mind you, flags are a line of sight tool. Um, the lighthouse is a line of sight tool. They really depend on you being able to see them in order to use them. So, um, another use for flags, take this deposit of iron here. You can place a flag near it and use it for marking um, deposits that you want to come back to in the future. Uh, since they are paintable, you can paint them any number of colors and use that to um, tell what particular uh, things are for. So you'd make one for, make a group for navigation, make a group for, um, like, to tell you, hey, this is iron, this is, this is lead, this is copper, that sort of thing. Uh, there's plenty of colors in the the paint rainbow on here, and just don't want to fall in a hole on accident, like that. But we have the jetpack, so up, up, and away. We're going as far away as we can, which okay. So I've never sought to discover that. What is that? I think that might be nickel. I don't have a drill on me, so... Anyway, <laughs> sorry, got distracted. I don't know whether or not this world has an a definite edge. All I know is that it seems to. Well, maybe not. It, it might just take a while for this area to load in because we've never been over here. But I wanted to go to the point where it's difficult to see. I actually wanted to try and get a kilometer or so away from the base. But I don't think the world is going to cooperate w with me on that. Okay, so at approximately 400 meters, you will lose sight of the lights on your base. That is really impressive. See, um, if you set it up right, you pl you place yourself a nice high beacon either on a promontory or on a tower like we did there, and you will be able to see it for quite a distance. And considering that's 383 meters... Okay, so... 383 meters. That's that's still pretty impressive. And that's a, a, a very, very, very large area that you can go around. So that's good to know. Um, now getting back, let's pop the jetpack on, fly up. And as you can see, we're... Okay, some coal we're running back we'll actually start running across the flags as we go and yeah this is gonna be a super short episode because I've basically covered everything I can think of about finding your way home now if you actually do get lost um, I don't know what to tell you honestly because um, like I said, early on when I was playing the game, I lost my base, and I was not able to find it at all. And it actually made me kind of, well, not afraid, 
specifically, but it kind of made me not want to go out and explore. So, making sure you can find your way home is one of the main things you need to do before you go out on any uh, long distance mining expeditions or anything like that. Um, I'm still very impressed by how far away those lights work. And you'll notice the flashing lights don't seem to reach that far. I, I tried very various different lights to see what would work the best and it seems like these square lights here and these kind of lights here work the best. I have this one painted red uh, this one is green I technically have a blue one right there but it's not doing its thing. These guys didn't seem to work very well and the, the flashy lights here did not either. But with that being said, that gives me quite a bit of area that I can cover and still make it back home. So with that, if you like this, please click that thumbs up button. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, please consider subscribing. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.